Hi guys, my name is Chappie and today we will take on the first wing of the dungeon Scarlet Monastery for our fifth episode of Duo It All, the series where we try to duo every World of Warcraft classic dungeon via leveling. We decided that we will do a separate video for each wing starting with Graveyard because Scarlet Monastery is such a great and important dungeon. The rules for our challenge are still the same as seen on the screen. And as always, I'm looking forward to your feedback, so please leave a comment in the comment section below. First off, there are two bosses in this wing, Interrogator Vishas and Blood Mage Talnos, as well as three rare boss spawns, but more on them later. This wing in particular doesn't really have any quests, but for Horde there starts a quest inside, but more on that in a minute. Like with all four wings, you start in a corridor much like this, and in the first part you will be facing three types of Scarlet Fanatics. The first are Scarlet Sentries, your standard melee mob, the second are Scarlet Torturers that cast a firebrand and have very low armor. And after just four trash mobs you can already pull the first boss interrogator Vishas. He is always accompanied by one ad, in our case a Scarlet Torturer. Vishas deals high melee damage and casts Shadow or Pain as well as Firebrand. To prepare for this fight we each chuck the minor magic resistance potion in the hope of resisting some of the damage. Oh and we are both already level 32, which means we finally have Wind Fury and Wind Fury Totem. This is the biggest jump in power for our combo for the entire leveling process. Wind Fury Totem is so super good for warriors because the additional hits are counted as white hits and therefore generate rage and every warrior is rage starved in this point of the game, so that's a godsend. Now Vishas can drop the best level 29 dagger and is super easy and quick to farm. So if you are in need of a tank weapon or want to make level 29 rogue twink, this is your guy. But this dagger is quite rare as we didn't get it within 4 or 5 kills. As mentioned before, um, there are three kinds of mobs and the third kind of mob are the scarlet scryers that cast shadow bolts and mind control, be wary of the mind control. After killing Vishas, you can accept the quest Vorl's Revenge from this undead here if you are Horde. For this quest, you have to kill the wife of Vishas. She is in a house at Lake Lordermere on the Alterac Valley side. But be careful, she is elite and has usually one or two elite adds. Now this is the hardest trash pull in the dungeon. It consists of a mix of four Scarlet Torturers and Scarlet Scryers. But I believe the Scryers are less prominent and they even have a group of four Torturers this time. This group is always guarding a chest, so it's worth killing them in my opinion as long as you can open the chest. But clear everything before you pull them as they like to run away on low life. Maybe you are as lucky as we are and get the 12th slot back. And now to the actual graveyard part of the dungeon. Once again there are three types of mobs. The first are these zombies called Anguish Dead that cast a curse that reduces healing received. The second are these non-elite ghosts called Unfettered Spirits usually in groups of three, and the last are these black ghosts called Haunting Phantasms. These guys are annoying because they have very high armor and summon a 1 HP mob every 20 seconds or so. And here is another chest spawn point. I think it's time to talk about the three rare spawns in this dungeon, because they are probably the reason you are in here except for the XP grind. All three bosses drop exceptional loot and are endlessly farmable. I mean, just look at this gear, it's insane. There are six spawn points and as long as you kill the trash mobs at these spawn points you will have a chance that a rare boss will spawn 15 minutes later, as that is the respawn timer for all the mobs in this graveyard area. So you can basically stay in this dungeon for as long as you want without resetting, just killing these six mobs over and over again and then waiting 50 minutes hoping a rare boss will spawn. If you are unsure about the exact spawn points, one hint is that if you find a single unfettered spirit, then that is a rare spawn guaranteed. Sadly we didn't get any rares in our run, but we didn't farm for them anyway. So let's continue into the crypt to Blood Mage Talnos, the end boss of this very short dungeon. This crypt has one petrol that respawns even quicker than the other mobs, so you have to be quick or you will run the risk of adding the respawn pet at the boss fight. Other than that, there is not much to talk about as there are no difficult pulls in here as long as you are careful. Now Blood Mage Talnos is quite the challenge for us, so same as with Vishas, we both pop a minor magic resistance potion before the fight starts. This guy casts Shadow Bolts which you can line off sight if you play better than us. 
and a blast wave that deals a lot of damage and is pretty much unavoidable, as well as a flame spike which you can and should avoid. It's important to know that you can't interrupt this guy's spells. Talnos has about 7.5k life and as long as you don't screw up you should be able to barely down him with potion usage. If you do a better job of using line of sight he should become much easier. He drops his very nice offhand for us and with that the first wing of Scarlet Monastery is completed. Now let's talk about the results. We made a total of 9200 experience which translates to roughly 0.2 level at level 32 and it took us 23 minutes to complete the dungeon and we died a total of 0 times. I hope you enjoyed this run as much as we did and I'll see you next time in Rays of Crawl, the dungeon I am the least experienced with. Thanks for watching and goodbye.